you wake up one day on a beautiful sunny morning. After that, uh, breakfast is morning coffee on hand, and you pick up your phone to check what's going on with the outside world and check your news alert. There is no cell phone signal. Your home broadband connection has mysteriously gone down overnight and forced a halt. You cannot meet any of your friends or family members. Panic and frightened. You finally wake up this time and realize it was just a bad dream. The internet, all of your emails, even all those funny cat videos you never watch on YouTube, it's all there. At least that's the case most of the time if you are living in an urban area in the United States where you always have some form of internet connectivity, either through fixed broadband or LTE. However, in most of the rural areas in the US, especially in native American reservations, that nightmare is a reality. Due to various geographical and logistical challenges, internet infrastructure development in those areas have really been stagnant over the years. According to a report by FCC in 2018, more than 37% of rural tribal areas in the US do lack any form of broadband internet access. On a global scale, that number becomes more horrifying. According to an estimate by the International Telecommunications Union in 2019, almost 85.1% households worldwide do not have any form of broadband subscription. Currently, I'm working on the project tool where we are building a system to provide uh, access to internet-based applications in remote areas where broadband internet is either limited or virtually non-existent. For that purpose, we are utilizing long-range radio transmission technology in building the communication channel. The novelty of this approach is in the fact that we are utilizing low-cost, long-range wide area networking, or in short, LoRaWAN equipment, which operate on a license-free radio frequency band. As a wireless communication technology, LoRaWAN was introduced in early 2015 uh, for primarily providing low-speed connectivity for transmitting small-scale sensor data over large distances. However, I'm building a special encoding technique for Project 2, which would enable the LoRaWAN equipment to support a wide range of internet-based applications on the system. Moreover, the flexible design of our overall system would ensure that it can be utilized worldwide by many different communities for many different purposes. Let's bring the benefit of internet to everyone. Thank you.